In this video, we're going to be using the new Canvas Sheets to create this homework tracker. It's reusable and shareable with other teachers. In this tracker, we have student names on the left-hand side, the dates on the top heading, and a drop-down menu to allow you to select complete, partially complete, or incomplete for homework completion. You can also add comments, and you can also see trends, so you can intervene as early as possible. For this student, they have incomplete and partially complete work for a number of different dates. You can then do early intervention to support the student. If we scroll to the right-hand side, we also have a summary table of how students went throughout the term. For example, for the student Tom, they've completed 87.5% of all their homework during the term and there's no incomplete homework. We can then use this table's data to create a graph, which we have here at the bottom, which summarizes how all the students went throughout the term, and it's very visual, allowing you to see the complete work, partially complete, and incomplete work. Canva charts also allows you to filter. So for example, we can filter just for completed work, or we can filter just for incompleted work. You can grab a copy of this template by signing up to my mail list in the description below, or you can follow on with this tutorial to learn how you can create this for yourself. To get started, we'll head to Canva Home and we'll select Sheet and Create New. This creates a blank spreadsheet for us so we can start from scratch. Let's start by creating a title. So I'm going to say Class Homework Tracker here, and let's change the size of the font to much larger to make it stand out. I'm also going to highlight the cells and change the background. We can change the font color as well. If you like, you can also add an element. Next, let's create our name column. I'm going to change the font to Poppins and make it much larger. Next to name, we're going to be creating a date field. So we'll hit actions and just scroll down till you see date and we can insert date. We can then copy the date field across by selecting the bottom right hand corner and dragging it across and you can create as many as you like. So here, let's now change the background and the font color. We're going to write a sample student name. So let's say it's Tom. We're then going to create our drop down menu. So again, in actions, we're going to select drop down and we're going to select create drop down. And for option one, let's click the edit button. And this is going to be complete. We'll change the color to a green color. So as you can see, you've got one option. For the second option, we're going to have partially complete and change the color to orange. And lastly, for option three, we're going to have incomplete. And let's use red for that. As you can see, we can't read all of the text, so we can increase the width of the cells. Um, to do that, we'll just click down on the A column and drag it, hold it down. And we're going to just drag the width across. We can also choose to align it in the center. So now let's check partially complete. And yep, you can see all of it now. The text here looks a bit funny, so we can just change that back to the left alignment. To see how to use this tracker, let's first add a couple more names into the name column. So let's have Jane, Bob, Joe. Then you'd select the date when the homework is due. So let's just have today's date there. Now, if your students generally do do their work, then you could just hit complete and copy it down by dragging the bottom right corner down and then just adjust for students who may not have done their work. So we can just write partially complete for Bob and for Lane, we can do, let's say incomplete. If you're going to be using this tracker all term, then you're going to have a lot of columns moving on to the right. And at one point you can see that we've lost the names. So what we can do is just freeze the first column. So we always have the names there. So we'll just select the entire column A, right click, and we can hit freeze. Let's just change the column color to make it stand out. And as you can see, now that we've frozen column A, it will just come with us as we go more to the right of the spreadsheet. Now let's create a summary of how students have gone throughout the term. So let's first just select all the names and we're going to just copy it. And we're gonna put it over here. You can change the 
color so that it stands out a little bit more differently. And for this summary, we're going to just have all the completed work as a percentage, partially complete and incomplete. Let's go ahead and change the colors. We're going to have, again, just the green, the orange and the red color. Let's change the font color as well. I'm going to also change the border colors. Now let's create the formulas for this table. So we can use Canva's magic formula to do this. In this cell, I want to have the percentage of completed work by Tom throughout the entire term. So we can just click on quick actions and we can scroll down to the bottom where it says magic formulas and Canva's going to prompt us. It says, describe what you want your formula to do. So I'm going to say percentage of completed out of the total generate formula. So here's our formula. It says um, it's going to count within this range for the cells that say complete divided by the total number of cells there. So that's great. We can insert this into this cell and we're just going to double check the range by clicking here before to B9. So that's not actually the row that I want. I actually want it to be this row. So it's B4 all the way up to I4. So I can just edit that myself. The range should be B4 to I4 and same for the next one as well. It's going to be B4 to I4. At the moment, it's displaying as a number. We want to display as a percentage. So we'll click up here and we're going to have percentage. At the moment, it says Tom has completed 100% of the work, which is true. So now that we've got the formula correct in this cell, let's go ahead and drag the bottom right hand corner down and let's check that the formula is making sense. So to do this, let's click on Jane's cell for complete. Click on the range and just double check that it's just Jane's row. It's correct. And we'll click on the second range as well. That's looking fine. And we'll just hit enter. Now let's create the formulas for partially complete and incomplete. What we can do is just copy the formula we already have for the first column. We can paste it and just um, fix it up a little bit. So instead of complete, we want to say partially complete and the ranges are still the same. So that should work. Let's drag the formula down. And as you can see, it's displaying as a number again. So we have to make sure that these cells also display as a percentage. And let's check that the formula is working here as well. So for Bob, yes, the range is correct. And if you're happy with that, select enter. Let's copy it one more time for incomplete and let's fix up the text. Let's copy the data across. Now that we've got the summary table, let's go ahead and create the chart for this. To do that, we'll just select all the data in the table. We'll select actions and we'll do magic charts. Let's click on view all charts. For this data set, I chose to use stacked row and this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and move this to the bottom here. We can then go ahead and fix the colors. So for complete, we had green. Partially complete, we had orange. And for incomplete, we had red. We can then go ahead and edit the chart by double clicking the chart. Let's select customize. You can have data labels. So the data labels are just the percentages. Let's center the data labels so that we can see what they are. If you hit settings, you can also add a filter. So we can say add filter, and this allows us to change from just complete to partially complete and incomplete. Let's click on our filter here. You can also select allow for multiple selections. So what that allows us to do is have just the filter for complete on, or we can have two filters on or all of the filters. You can also choose to have the default view as all of the filters set on. Let's go ahead and add some sample data into our tracker so that the graph looks a bit more filled up. We can just drag a couple across and change a couple. As you add more data into your table, your graph is also going to automatically update. So that's a wrap. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed learning about how you can use Canvas Sheets to create this homework tracker. 
Canva's released many new features, so if you want to keep watching, you can hit this new video on how you can use Canva code.